Listen to part of a conversation at a campus police station. Yes, how can I help you? Yeah, uh, I think my car has been stolen. Okay, can you give me the details? Yeah, uh, it's a 1999 four wheel drive blue Subaru. Okay, and when and where did you last see it? Well, this morning I parked it in front of Lacey Hall. Let me check our records. Ah, it appears your car was in a faculty only zone. Yeah, I know. But the handicapped parking spaces were all taken, and I had to find a place so I could get easy access to my classes. Uh huh. But since you don't have a faculty parking sticker, your car was towed. I was hoping that because I had a handicap sticker, it would be okay. There may have been a complaint from a faculty member. Well, sometimes that happens when a professor can't get to work on time because someone who isn't faculty is parked in faculty parking. So the tow truck was called. Okay.、Um, how do I get my car back? Well, when a vehicle has to be towed, the owner must pay for the towing and storage fees before the car can be taken. And I'm sorry to say, there's also a parking fine. And how much will all that be? Um. The towing fee is $90, and there's a storage fee of $10 per day. So it'd be a good idea to pick up your car today, if possible. The parking fine is $50, but if you pay within seven days, the fine is reduced to $20. I think, well, all this is very unfair. If the university is going to charge so much, they should have more spaces. My car gets towed because the handicapped parking spaces are full. One of the cars didn't even have a handicapped sticker. Uh, well, you know, don't you, that you do have the right to appeal. Since you believe that circumstances exist that may excuse you from certain university regulations. Oh, so how do I go about doing that? Well, first, you write a letter of appeal. Well, that can be done online. You can go to the university traffic regulations page. You know the university homepage? Uh huh. Okay. Um,. In your letter, explain the situation and why you believe the ticket was unfair. You'll get a letter immediately saying that your case is being reviewed. Later, you'll get a reply stating whether or not your appeal is accepted. The fine is put on hold as soon as the letter of appeal has been received. If the charge isn't dropped, then you have seven days to pay up or to make a further appeal. Okay. Thank you for your help. Okay. Good luck. Now get ready to answer the questions. You may use your notes to help you answer. 30. Why did the student go to the campus police? 31. What can be inferred about the student? 32. Listen again to part of the conversation. Then answer the question. Well, when a vehicle has to be towed, the owner must pay for the towing and storage fees before the car can be taken. And I'm sorry to say, there's also a parking fine. What does the officer mean when she says this? And I'm sorry to say, Thirty-three. Listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. Uh, well, you know, don't you, that you do have the right to appeal, since you believe that circumstances exist that may excuse you from certain university regulations. Why does the officer say this? Uh, well, you know, don't you, that you do have the right to appeal. Thirty-four. What will the student probably do?